Hi, welcome to Business Builder Monday. On this episode, I wanted to get a little bit more specific about e-learning. So I've been working with e-learning for many, many years, but recently I've been working much more with public sector. And public sector, they love things like standardization of files. So you get things like a SCORM file or a more modern rendition, which is something called Tin Can. Uh, very unfortunate name, if you think about it. It's not a brilliant name to advertise a product to call it something like kick, Tin Can, you know, kick it down the road, all the sort of connotations to go with it. But what I wanted to kind of share today was using those kind of frameworks and methods over building something natively within LearnDash. LearnDash is a system, like an ecosystem and an environment that we build courses in, and we can build very rich, dynamic courses that have interactions, videos, quizzes, bespoke functionality, beautiful user interfaces, or you've got the alternative, which is building something like a SCORM file inside a tool like Articulate 365. And what it does is it gives a very nice structure, easy to use, but the way they work their technology is it almost works like an iframe, which means it pulls it in from another website. So you're very limited in what you can do with the stylization, the interactions, adding bespoke features to it. Now, I'm not trying to say one way or the other, whether you use SCORM or whether you use LearnDash natively, it's important that you get the right solution for you. In our case, what I've actually opted to do in many cases is build the course out on Articulate 365. This gives me the SCORM file that can be provided to the client, but then I actually build the course using the exact same content and I enrich it using LearnDash's native features. We used to talk about this back in the kind of the 90s, early 2000s, when we had this thing called progressive enhancement. So back at a time before the browsers were all very modern and you could do all these fancy things like animations and making websites look really sort of quite polished, we constantly had to think, how would that work on Netscape? How would that work on IE6, IE5.5, all these old technologies? So what we've done is if you wanted curved corners and drop shadows and nice interface, you'd get that on the modern browsers, whereas the older browsers, they just got it the basic way. We've lifted that strategy from that kind of era of web design and took it into learning management. So we can still provide the SCORM file to those bodies in the public sector and otherwise that want it, but we can also build it natively to enrich it and build a great experience for the user. Technology's moved on a fair bit and kind of those formats never want to be selecting a format that holds you back from doing it, but why not have the best in both worlds and kind of approach it in a sort of hybrid solution. I'm John from Hybrid Anchor. I'll talk to you next week. Thank <laughs> you.